feels like it's been a while since we've done a video together. It has been a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to this awesome channel. Today, we have a great return guest. We have Shane Sterling from Raw Vegan Rising. He's recently turned 51. Happy birthday, Shane. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm so stoked to have you on today. We have a great topic. Shane and I have each created a list of 10 points of these things that happen when you go raw vegan. Going raw vegan has been the most transformative experience of my entire life. And I'm pretty sure Shane would say the exact same thing. Got rid of all my health problems. It makes me feel my absolute best. So you guys are not going to want to miss this one. You're going to want to watch till the end. So let's hop into it. Hey, Shane, how's it going? Hello, Jillian. Thank you so much for having me on. And hello to all the viewers. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I really want to help inspire and bring knowledge and wisdom to people today to help share the inspirational truth about a raw vegan diet, what people can expect to experience when they go raw vegan, what's going to happen to your body, what's going to happen, how are you going to feel, let's talk about it and share this so people can be informed. And it's such a life-changing thing. And, and I know a lot of people don't do it. So if anybody's just tuning in and they're thinking, what is a raw vegan diet? Can you just briefly explain for them? A raw vegan diet is really a transformational experience. A raw vegan diet is a higher vibrational way of living and being. It's a way of eating and, and fueling our body that doesn't burden the body. So we're eating fresh, raw living foods, foods that are not cooked. And I say denatured because denatured is when we cook the food, we change it on a molecular level in a chemical way that's very stressful to the body. It creates toxicity in the body. And little by little, over the course of decades, this erodes our health and we get nagging health problems and other problems as we age. Maybe we lose our zest for life and we lose the, the sense of hope and possibility. This is all because we are struggling with toxic accumulation in our body. So a raw vegan diet is putting pure raw living foods in our body that are undenatured, unchemically altered, but then also realizing that we can make choices that are higher vibration, that are spiritually enriching to our life. So a raw vegan diet kind of gives us a new sense of hope and purpose for our life. And I love to share that information with people because you don't realize that the food that we eat becomes our mind. Our food is more than just food. It's more than just healing health problems or our body. It becomes the whole perspective of how we see ourselves on the earth, in the world, who we are, where we come from. So a raw vegan diet is really transformational. It helps you be the best version of yourself. It gets you kind of out of your own way into a new sense of hope and purpose and transformation. So it's really incredible. And we're going to share that today. Yeah, it is. And I don't know if many people realize, I don't know if you've heard these studies or read about this, but I've seen that, well, when people get sick, right, or they have something bad, their white blood cell count goes up inside their body. And I've seen studies that have tested that and said the same thing happens when somebody eats cooked food. Isn't that interesting? And I've noticed if, as somebody who's eaten raw for so many years, if I've had some cooked food, I can feel like a difference inside my body, like right away. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, for one, cooked food creates an inflammatory response in the body, even if it's small, mm -hmm. which is like an immune response. So our immune is aggravated, even if it's just a small amount. And that over time creates a lowered immune system and autoimmune disease and inflammation in the body. So eating raw, undenatured, whole, pure living foods as it comes from the earth, from the soil, from the garden and the fruit trees and the vines does not create an inflammation response in the body. It helps purify and cleanse the bowels and the blood and the lymph. So over time, our body can keep up and it doesn't age as poorly and it doesn't get as burdened and we don't have autoimmune. We should be able to will, live well into old age without degenerative mm -hmm. conditions that take the quality of our life. A raw vegan diet is really choosing quality of life. I am not raw vegan to live longer. And I am not raw vegan because I'm trying to be perfect. I want quality of life while I'm here. I don't care if I live one more day or 10 more years. I want quality of life while I'm here. And a raw vegan diet gives me that on a mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical level. So that I get to just enjoy, I get to be more optimistic, get to be healthier, have a better sense of happiness and, and meaning here while I'm here. And that's really an incredibly major benefit of a raw vegan diet. 
Yeah. Amazing. So let's get into the benefits. So I'm going to start with mine for the first one, because you're just looking so good. You're 51. I'm 41. I feel like I look better now than I did in my twenties too. And so my first point is physical improvements. I feel like that's a huge thing. People look better. It starts being more anti-aging. You just look so much better. Isn't that a big thing for you? Obviously, because look at you. <laughs> yeah. When I went raw vegan, it literally dropped 10 years off the way I looked with very quickly. I started my raw vegan journey with a 40 day juice fast, and I'm still a really big advocate of juice fasting because it helps clear the bowels. Look, we can't just start eat, eating raw food because it's not going to move through the digestive system properly. It's going to sit in there and ferment, cause gas and bloating. Also, our digestive system becomes weak over time from eating cooked food. It leads to nutritional deficiencies. And our bowels are not effective at absorbing nutrition. So when we eat raw, then all of a sudden we might become nutrient deficient. We have to prepare the gut to make the most use of raw foods and to be able to digest properly, improving absorption and utilization of nutrition. That's absolutely key. So that's why I'm a big advocate for juice fasting. And I started my journey with a 40-day juice fast, which absolutely changed my life. When I did my first 40-day juice fast, I knew right then and there, I wanted to help others learn about the power of juice fasting. I decided I was going to become a raw vegan coach. And mm -hmm. it was then that I switched careers. I actually sold my clothing stores. I was running brick and mortar clothing stores. I sold those and I started my coaching business to help people learn about how to juice fast and go raw vegan. So 10 years instantly off the way I looked after my first 40 day juice fast. But now I've been fully raw vegan for six years. And I'd say, you know, I'm 51 yeah. and I look the best of my life now. People often think I'm in my early 30s and I mean out in public at the gym or at the grocery store. People will say, oh, you, you know, you're just a young guy. And I'm like, how old do you think I am? And they're like, uh, 28, you know, and yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's almost like I'm hesitant to tell people sometimes that I'm 51 because I don't want to rub it in. I don't want people to feel like... um you know, I'm comparing or something. But the truth is when you eat raw vegan, it purifies your bowels, your blood, and your, your lymph. It brings water and hydration and nutrition to the cells. It flushes the waste and it brings oxygen to the skin. A raw vegan diet will make you have a glow in your mm -hmm. skin like you were out in the sun, like you were tanning. People often think, that I tan or that I go, I don't know how it translates on this camera, you know, our cameras are different, but people think that I tan and I don't. It brings hydration and oxygen to the skin, minerals, nutrients, phytochemicals to the skin. So your skin is actually more UV resistant. It helps mm -hmm. protect from UV radiation naturally while boosting natural color and tone in the skin. And then the other amazing thing that happens is as it uh, pulls the lymphatic system, pulls from the interstitial fluids, it kind of tightens up the skin. You know, kind of like makes the skin look tighter and less inflammation in the interstitial fluids and in the tissue. So it just makes you overall look tighter, younger, thinner, more attractive. And then also it brings brightness to the, the skin and the eyes and your teeth. It'll look make you look 20 years younger and it brings a glow to your aura. It makes you just That's kind true. of radiate younger and more energetic because when you're eating fresh, raw living foods, especially fruits with simple carbohydrates, it goes right to your brain. It makes you feel like you're on top of the world. It's our species specific diet. It fuels our biology at the highest level possible. So you get that glow in your body, in your aura, in your heart, you you know, it just transforms everything. So yeah, it's going to help you look younger. And I, if you know, if you're out there in the world listening to this right now, and you have extra body fat, you have weight, or you're just aging, I don't know, thinning hair, gray hair, you know, maybe your, your eyesight's gone bad, you got to eat raw vegan, it's going to help restore the quality to your body. You don't have to age poorly, you just got to rein it in. Raw foods are not as entertaining as steak and ice cream and pizza with your friends. But if you can make better choices for your body, you're going to get a better quality of life. And it's highly worth it. 
it might be hard to learn about raw vegan, but it's worth it. If you take the time to learn, if you get support, if you join a community, if you go out of your way to educate, surround yourselves with other raw vegans, mm -hmm. learn and educate with videos like this, you are going to get miraculous benefits for the rest of your life. Who doesn't want that? Yeah. So, and even though it might not be like as entertaining with your friends and stuff, I feel like the more you do this lifestyle, you truly, you fall in love with those foods. Like you see the papayas, you see the juices and they just, but they look so vibrant and exciting. And you truly do get very excited about this lifestyle. Seven years in, I'm so excited about it. And a lot of people I interview, like Ava Loves Raw, I was just in Las Vegas with Kara and Marcus. A lot of the people I interview live in this lifestyle are looking amazing. But why do you think maybe some people don't? Or if somebody's watching and they're like, okay, how can I have physical improvements if I go raw? What's the key to eating? How should I eat? What do you think? Yeah, a lot of people get confused about how to eat as a raw vegan. For one, if you research how to eat as a raw vegan, you're going to come across the 80-10-10 low fat, like we're supposed mm -hmm. to avoid fats. I don't avoid fats at all. So a, a well-balanced nutritional profile, nutrient density, full macronutrients. If we're eating a cooked food diet and we're getting like 30% of our calories from fats, and then all of a sudden we go raw vegan and we eat no fats, mm -hmm. what's that gonna do? We might go through a severe detox period, and oftentimes the detox transitional period to become a thriving, amazing, glowing raw vegan takes a couple of years. Who are you going to be in a couple of years? Are you going to invest two years? You're going to wake up in two years anyway. Who are you going to be? If you don't make any changes, you're going to be the same. If you invest in learning about how to eat raw, then you're going to wake up a new refreshed person. But during that transitional period, you might have detox symptoms. What's that going to look like? You might have cold and flu symptoms, dark circles under the eyes, gas and bloating and digestion problems, you know, a big, you know, bloated gut. Who knows what the problems could be? Detox symptoms are crazy, ugly, intense, takes us down to the root of who we are. It, it mm -hmm. you know, it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Part of us has to die to be reborn. And so we have to surrender. Mm -hmm. the number one thing we need to do to be a successful raw vegan is surrender to our unique process. So no matter how hard it gets, no matter how bad we look in our detox transitional phase, we got to trust the process. We got to trust people who have gone before us. So all the amazing raw vegans that do look good out there, you know, so many, Annette Larkin and Mimi Kirk and mm -hmm. Karen Calabrese and Kara Brotman, me, uh, you know, all of us who look great for our age, yeah. eating fully raw vegan, pay attention to what they're eating. I know um, a lot of people who look True. good do not avoid fats. They're not low fat. They're not 80, 10, 10. I certainly am not. I strive for 20%, 25, 30% of my calories from fat, like normal. Me too. I eat completely normal. Like how I eat feels so normal. I just know that if I look at those cooked food, beans or potatoes or rice, those cooked vegan foods, if I... If I look at those, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's delicious. That's yummy. That makes me feel all like mm -hmm. numb and warm and fuzzy inside when I eat that. But boy, oh boy, are there consequences. I don't like the way I feel the next day. Mm -hmm. I don't like how it instantly lowers my confidence and my self-esteem. And that's the number one thing, lowered self-esteem. Eating raw boosts your self-esteem. It makes you feel like who you're supposed to be, the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. And eating cooked food erodes the best version of yourself. I, I feel it literally if I have potatoes or rice or like, you know, cooked Indian vegan food or something like that, instantly I feel my self-esteem drop. I feel my confidence drop. I feel my, just that extra energetic kind of aura drop. It's just not worth it for me to do that. Why would I do that to myself? So I make the choice that I want to eat raw vegan and I avoid those foods and it might be challenging in ways, but boy, oh boy, I think the way healthy feels is far more important than the way any food will taste, you know, mm -hmm. healthy mm -hmm. is better than taste. <laughs> yeah. I noticed a difference too. Absolutely. Okay. And your first point was sense of happiness. I personally noticed the biggest sense of happiness I ever had when I first went raw. I remember the first day. And I was like, holy crap, I had no idea I could feel this good. And I just knew like this is how I'm supposed to feel. And it was better than any drug, alcohol. And it's just 
unbelievable how I felt transitioning to just eating a whole food raw diet. So let's let's hear your thoughts on the changes for you and sense of happiness and what you see in people and what you think happens when people start eating all raw. And I just want to say too, I don't want to make people feel bad if they eat cooked food because somebody made a comment on my channel yesterday saying that like this type of content ma makes people feel bad if they're like eating stuff that's not raw. I mean like plant whole foods, if this is too extreme for you, I think like plant whole foods are like great too. But like, this is just an amazing avenue. So we just, but we don't want to make anybody feel bad if they're choosing not to eat this or I don't. Well, yes, we want to make good choices that support the highest version of our well-being mm -hmm. and raw foods support us at the highest level. Every day is a choice. We get to choose who we are being and it's in our choices. What we put in our mouth is the foundation of who we become and how we think. I recommend eating raw vegan, but there's no such thing as perfect. I don't think a perfect raw vegan is something to strive for or to even try to achieve. I personally recommend to my clients, 80% or more living foods is optimal for health. And if you wanna go more than 80% raw living foods, there are amazing spiritual and emotional benefits to that 100% level. Mm -hmm. And maybe you do 100% for a year and have the incredible transformation in your emotions. Because the reason why we get a sense of happiness from eating raw vegan is it stimulates the proper hormone production. You know, serotonin is produced in the gut. So it creates that amazing gut brain connection, which heals anxiety, depression, low mood. It boosts the mood. However, if you start with a juice fast, like I often recommend for people, it not only just boosts your mood, it gives you an incredible boost to your cellular matrix. You walk outside, you feel connected to the earth. Everything is sparkly and tingly. And it's like you feel like you can communicate with the earth around you. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. The sun is brighter. The birds sound more beautiful. The grass is greener. It literally lifts like a fog mm -hmm. off your consciousness. And then if you continue to stay raw, you get to new plateaus, deeper truth, deeper understanding, heightened experience, heightened intuition, a deeper sense of connection. And mm -hmm. so that makes us feel happier. Happiness is an abstract concept. Really, it's fulfillment. Fulfillment comes from structure and uh, goal setting and discipline. The pursuit of a worthy goal makes us feel that sense of fulfillment, which leads to happiness. So when we're investing every day in good choices, healthy choices, raw vegan foods for our body, it gives us a sense of purpose and fulfillment that leads to happiness. Besides the fact that your body and mind are flooded with phytonutrients and hydration and minerals and enzymes, purifying the bowels and the blood and the lymph, everything moves better. It's like purifying the sewer system out of our body. You know, we're burdened by toxicity. All of us are in our world, environmental toxins, toxins from the food, uh, toxins from our household chemicals. Eating raw vegan helps the body eliminate. So if there is any toxins in your household or in your beauty products, it's going to eliminate easier and better. If you're eating not conventional produce with pesticides on it, eating raw vegan helps your body eliminate it so it doesn't accumulate. This has a very, very significant impact on the health of our gut and brain connection and overall mood and happiness. It's mm -hmm. really an important topic to talk about. Mm -hmm. It is. And I know you brought up emotional a little bit. And I know one of your points was emotional release. So do you feel like in your experience, that's something you've experienced going raw vegan? Like I know we become very happy, but there's also no, you can sort of have like emotional detoxes and emotional release that happens and takes place when you start eating this. Yeah, so I see it every single day. I can't tell you how many people I talk to. It is a universal experience, universal when you go raw vegan, you have an emotional detoxification experience. This is really kind of like um, a removing of the blocks or lifting the veil off of our consciousness. All of a sudden, you're going to see things more clearly. You're going to see yourself more clearly. And one of the first thing that happens is emotional patterns and traumas and wounding from the past that are running our life from the subconscious kind of come up to the surface. Now, we can feel those 
and either not have any idea what what's happening and get scared and say we don't like that, which is what most people do, or we can have the counsel and guidance of a professional shadow work coach, like it was what I do, mm -hmm. and we can move through it very effectively. And that is an important thing to realize that we can move through emotional release and move past blocks and patterns that have been running our life since you know, our trauma in our youth and original wounding and core wounding. So this is why a raw vegan diet can be absolutely transformational mm -hmm. on an emotional level. And this is actually what happened to me. When I first did my first 40 day juice fast and the following months after that, I stayed raw vegan, I started to see the way my life had been held back and how I had kind of played small and not let myself really expand and shine at my highest level. So I decided to get out of my own way to start helping people be a coach. I started my YouTube channel. I started outreach. I started working with people. Now I'm committed out of my mind to connecting with people. I, I Every day I connect, I create community. I create sources of connection for other people. Mm -hmm. This is what has happened to me because my wounding and my pattern was that I was a abandoned as a kid. And I always felt like I didn't belong here on the earth. I always felt like I didn't fit in. I went vegan at a young age and I felt like I hated the world. I hated the way humans treated animals. I hated the way humans treated each other. I was mm -hmm. bullied in school. I was an outcast. I was like kind of an alternative kind of um, new wave gothy kind of kid in high school. And I would get bullied and all that. So I really had a lot to overcome. And I always felt like I didn't belong here. Going raw vegan, though, actually made me realize those patterns that I had been living my whole life was just a story. And I could actually make a huge difference. And I started to apply myself in the world, create connection for others, a sense of purpose and meaning. And that's why I started my community, Raw Vegan Heroes, so people can come together. There's nothing mm -hmm. more inspiring than someone who's working to heal their own wounding getting out of their own way, facilitating healing and connection with others and for others, creating a life of service and purpose. And a raw vegan diet gives you that. Yeah. It will and give you that. Yeah. And you're in your purpose. I'm in my purpose. So many people I know who have followed this path are in their purpose. It's like a big thing happens when you clean out and you feel more connected and then you find your purpose naturally. And I feel like another thing is you feel more creative. That was one of my points. I feel so much more creative on this lifestyle. I've accomplished so much more, brought so many more things to life. Do you feel like that's been the case for you? Yeah, you really have, Jillian. And mm -hmm. I really acknowledge that. So creative. You put out so much content and yeah. are so invested in bringing such a high level of creativity to people. And the exact same thing has happened to me. When I first went raw vegan, I started my YouTube channel and I, you know, I'd put out like one video every so often. And the longer I've been raw, the more committed I am to the artistry and the mm -hmm. creation process. Every day of my life, I create. And you know what's interesting is I just heard a statistic that by 2026, 60% of the workforce is going to be solo entrepreneurship. So contentpreneurs, content creators like you and me, this is the wave of the future. We're actually on the cutting edge of the economy and the workforce for planet Earth as we move into the future. And being raw vegan, aligning, with a raw vegan diet naturally puts you in that cutting edge, 5D consciousness, new earth, aligning with you know your highest vision and values. It puts you in that hyper creative, hyper rewarding place to be naturally. Like mm -hmm. even if you don't try, all you got to do is learn how to eat raw vegan and little by little, it'll nudge you into alignment with who you're supposed to be. And Jillian, you and I have both experienced that. And here we are sharing this message saying, hey, people, wake up. This is a movement. This is a, an awakening experience bigger than all of us. There's a clarity and an emotional purpose for you on this planet, and you will find it with a raw vegan diet. Yeah. And another huge thing, which I don't know if you have to mention, I know we've mentioned it so many times before, but this is literally one of the biggest things for me. And probably one of the top reasons I do it is the energy, right? The energy levels. When you live this lifestyle, when you eat raw, the energy levels are just where they should be. We should be feeling great all day. We shouldn't be crashing. Food should be uplifting us, giving us energy, making us creative, feeling good inside. And 
that's what it does. Don't you find it? that's a huge thing for me? I don't like crash and feel crappy. And yeah, people think that eating fruit is going to spike your blood sugar, but it's the opposite. Eating fruit stabilizes your blood sugar. So you have even energy from the moment you wake up till the moment you go to sleep. And if you're really 100% raw, that becomes even another level. Even 1% cooked food in the diet is kind of going to derail you off of that incredible even keel energy. So I encourage everybody to try 100% raw for a period of time and see how incredible the energy really is. And, you know, there, there's really, you know, food is, of course, weaponized in our world today. I mean, there's a war inside of us to go for that cooked food, you know, the devil on one shoulder, the angel on the other shoulder saying, oh, no, you only live once. Go for that. <laughs> That's true. Food. Go for that. And then the angel saying, no, I want to live my best life. I want to be pure. I want to feel good. I want to have energy. Look, it's up to you. Who's going to win the war? Who's going to get the, the resources to win the war? It's your energy. It's your attention. It's your choices that fuel one side or the other. And cooked food and animal products and the factory farming system on this earth is, tr is terrible. It's terrible, it's terrible for us. It's terrible for our consciousness. It's terrible for our health. We don't want to participate with it. I mean, you know, the devil and, and Satan and Lucifer, you know, if they had a way to control us, it would be through those systems of cooked meat and animal products and cooked food and junk food and processed food and sugar and alcohol and caffeine keeping us down, keeping us oppressed, keeping us confused. Look, we become more godly. The Essene Gospel of Peace, an incredible book that has inspired me, talks about it. When you eat raw vegan, you invite the earthly angels into your body to purify your body and to align with the earthly delight of angelic presence. When you eat the cooked food, it invites the devil, Beelzebub, into your bowels, creating a cesspool of parasites and overgrowth of bacteria, fungus, mold, yeast. We become a host for the parasite and beals above. That's what the Essene Gospel of Peace says. I love that because that's how I feel, man. If I eat cooked food, I always think like I'm just feeding the wrong side. I'm feeding the, the energies that just bring me down in so many ways, physical energy, mental, emotional, and spiritual energy. Because after all, we're spiritual beings having a physical experience. The way we fuel our body, the choices we make and what we put in our mouth, you know, affects our spiritual awareness, our fear, spiritual experience. So we can choose foods that give us an enriched spiritual experience. And a raw vegan diet is the path for that. I agree. 100 million thousand gazillion percent. I just wanted to interrupt this amazing video really quick while I'm preparing some beautiful raw food, you guys, to tell you about my favorite supplements on earth. These are fantastic. I've been taking these for a few years now, and these are by Complement. What I love about these is they are an all-in-one supplement, so you don't have to think about a million things here and there. They have B12, D, zinc, selenium, magnesium, iodine, K2, DHA, EPA, all these important things that we need to think of regardless of the diet we are on. And I just love how they have everything wrapped into one. And I can give you guys a savings today. I'll put the code down below, save with Jillian. Go pick some up. I've been taking these for a few years. My blood work is perfect. I feel amazing and I cannot recommend them enough. Now back into this awesome video. And <laughs> speaking of spiritual, one of the things on your list is telepathy. So do you think, I'd love for you to expand on this. Do you feel like you've experienced this as you've been eating raw foods? Yeah, without question. So I've always been an intuitive, sensitive, creative, artistic person. Okay, that's cool. Being artistic and creative and, you know, liking creative projects. And even as a kid, I was like pretty intuitive, you know, mm -hmm. but going raw vegan as an adult, I straight up have become psychic. And what I call it is telepathy. Not now, here's an incredible thing that happens when you go raw vegan. Not only can you receive telepathy, like you can feel people's thoughts and energies. You become more aware of somebody's negative energy or positive energy. You can just feel it. But the more important aspect almost is the projection of your telepathy into the world, how you affect the fabric of reality around you. This is almost like your aura, I guess you could say, and the energy, the quality of your aura being mm -hmm. in the fabric of reality. So eating raw vegan helps you project a higher, lighter quality of being that people can feel. Now, this is incredible because this opens doors. 
When you walk into a room, people can feel your clarity, your purity, the angelic quality about you. And they're going to be drawn to you. They're going to ask you questions, say, how can I help you? Hey, can I give you a job? Let's collaborate. How can I help you in the world? Oh, doors open. So the best version of who we're supposed to be is dependent on the telepathy that we project into the world, the energy and the aura that we project into the world. So telepathy is a two-way street, okay? Oh. It's giving and receiving. And the more we purify our consciousness, the more benefits we're going to get in the non-physical, okay? There's a, a huge orchestration behind the scenes. The universe is always conspiring on our behalf. The universe wants us to excel to the highest level. We hold ourselves back by eating cooked food, by eating frozen food, by eating meat and dairy and eggs, by eating the foods mm -hmm. that just kind of keep our consciousness in a base survival fear. Mm -hmm. So eating those foods is fear-based and eating raw vegan is pure-based, love-based, angelic-based. And when you do that consistently over time, you emanate that purity. People can feel it. Doors open. Your life changes. Yeah. So now that you have that connection, do you always listen to that intuition? Because I noticed I have that connection now too. And I was hanging out with somebody a couple of weeks ago and I just had like this feeling like get away from this person. This is something like danger or bad vibes. Like, I don't know. I was thinking this is really weird. This awareness I have right now when I was with this person, I was like, this is just something telling me like get away from this person. So do you have moments like those and you think it's always important to listen to that intuition, right? Or that's where we can run into trouble? 100% without question, I listen to my internal guidance system 100% of the time without fail. I call it my internal guidance system. And there, I, it's different than just having a feeling or let's say more accurately, you have to learn how to interpret your internal guidance system. There's a difference between a thought mm -hmm. and your internal guidance system. It feels different in the body. It kind of kind of resonates in a different location in the body. Mind, is, you know, thoughts come through the mind where your internal guidance system is more of the gut feeling. Mm -hmm. And when you train yourself and become more sensitive, eating raw vegan, you become intuitive and sensitive to this. It helps you feel more clearly where to go, what to trust, what to do, and how to navigate that internal guidance system. So for me, as a raw vegan and uh, an artistic, creative, intuitive person, I have learned impeccably how to listen, how to feel the difference. And so if I get a nudge from my internal guidance system, I would never question it. I know mm -hmm. instantly what it's telling me, and I listen to it 100% of the time without fail. So that's a really incredible resource to have in your body and in your life. This is next level spiritual mastery that we have to develop. This is not going to come because you go to McDonald's or Burger King you know, or KFC on the weekends because you think it's okay to have like a cheat day. That's going to just rob you of that higher spiritual cognitive function. Mm -hmm. So while you think maybe it's okay to cheat a little or to participate with the devil's version of the world, that's going to just rob you of your true spiritual sense. Don't so do true. it. Yeah. Just don't no. do it. I saw on Instagram. So stay in somebody alignment. Yeah. So yeah. Stay in alignment. Somebody posted, so, and you're not going to be in alignment with that food. Somebody posted on Instagram the other day, they had like a McDonald's burger and they like kept it for 25 years or something or 24 years. I don't know if you saw that. And the burger like did not, it didn't break down. So think what it's doing inside your body, right? Real food will break down. It will, most of it will break down quickly, like uh, other than like nuts and stuff, but like real food breaks down and it's supposed to break down. Like, what do you think that is doing to your body and your mind? It's crazy. You're definitely not feeling connected if you're eating stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. And the fa how fast food moves through the body is an incredibly important factor. So much more important than people know. Food actually is designed to move through our body very, very quickly and, and are for our body to have an impeccable elimination system. And I talk to thousands and thousands of people. I get thousands of comments. People often think, you know, I might ask somebody, uh, they've said, oh, I had a burger today. I watched your vegan video and I had a burger, you know, and I, I'll ask like, well, how long do you think that burger sits inside of your digestive system? And people will be like, oh, maybe four hours, eight hours, you know, something like that. Absolutely not. It takes days, if not weeks. And there's residue from animal proteins that never leave your digestive system that create waste, plaque, biofilm, impacted 
old waste inside your GI tract that can be in there for decades. And this poisons us from the inside slowly. So while you think it's harmless to have a burger and like, oh, you have a bowel movement four hours later, that's not coming out of you. Animal products like that move so slowly through the digestive system and also charred meat, uh, brown food, uh, the digestive leukocytosis that comes from these types of chemicals, the chemically altered foods, the oxidized fats in cooked meats is highly toxic to the body. Uh, it's worse than smoking a pack of cigarettes. You know, I mean, you're really putting high toxic load on the body. It sits in the bowels for days or weeks or months, poisoning you from the inside. There's nothing that could be worse. That's why we have to eat fresh, raw living foods. We do. And when, I... you, and when you feel it move through your body that quick, that's part of the spiritual awakening, like not holding on. You're, you're, it's like spiritual sovereignty. Physical sovereignty is spiritual sovereignty. They say cleanliness is next to godliness. That's what it is. You purify your body. You don't hold on to food for days or weeks because it's not that cooked crap. And it gives you the spiritual sense. It's a closer relationship to God because you're just moving the fruits and the vegetables through the body quickly. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well said. And one thing I noticed for me when I went raw vegan, one of the biggest things was all my health problems went away. I had a lot of health problems like digestive issues, panic attacks. I was severely tired major back acne and other problems, sinusitis, all these things that, mm. of course, like they didn't connect to food and they all went away, which was amazing. And I have so many people on this channel where their health problems went away. I just interviewed Lawrence Richardson. I think he's in your group or he was in your group, right? Lawrence Richardson and somebody else I interviewed who was in your group. Both of them were actually diabetic. They reversed their diabetes through juice fasting and through raw foods. And it's amazing. Like, it's amazing that this can happen. It's amazing. This has been my personal experience. For you, did you have, I, I can't remember if you did, but did you have any health problems when you went raw or like anything like physical health ailments that you noticed improved? When I went raw vegan, I had, you know, at the time I was struggling with horrendous seborrheic dermatitis, which is dandruff. Mm. And the dandruff was on my scalp. It was in my eyebrows. It was in my mustache and beard. It would not go away no matter what I did. I would read forums. I would do everything I could read on the internet. I would do over-the-counter drugs and medications, creams, everything, prescription medications from the doctor, everything you could imagine. Nothing worked. Year after year, it got worse and worse and worse. And it was from this unfortunate time in my life where I was doing the bodybuilding diet, eating chicken and rice and whey protein and eating lots of protein, animal mm -hmm. protein to try to build muscle. God, thank God I learned how to cleanse my body properly because uh, I had joint inflammation. I had skin inflammation. I had gut inflammation. I had weight gain. I had early onset degenerative conditions. My body was burdened. My body was struggling. It was horrible. And when I cleansed and purified my body with raw living foods, I did a 40 day juice fast, stayed raw vegan for two years. It all went away. Everything went away. And it just made me look younger. And then I was like, hey, wait, this is amazing. I like restored 20 years of my life by going raw vegan. It like turned back the clock. Mm -hmm. So not only have my health problems gone away, but I'm just feeling and looking younger. I mean, that's an incredible bonus. This is really um, a life-changing thing to experience. And now I talk to so many people and a lot of people will message me. I get emails every day, people saying, okay, I have this problem. Like I have, my husband's diabetic or I have this type of blood sugar level or I have these markers from my blood tests or the doctor said this. Look, I'm telling you across the board, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what your health problem is. It doesn't matter what markers the blood tests are showing or what the doctor said. A raw vegan diet supports the human biology. It purifies the body. It's going to help you out of the freaking hole. Mm -hmm. If you feed the body raw living foods, you're going to get the benefits of how the body's supposed to work. It just automatically reverses the problems and aligns your body with how it's supposed to work. So your kidneys work better, your adrenals, your hormones, your endocrine system, your digestive system, the elimination system, all works how it should. Who doesn't want that? Start right away. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. And I know one of your points, I have to turn my phone on because I want to bring up this comment, but I know one of your points was legacy. So before we get into that, I just, I had a comment yesterday about legacy that I want to discuss with you. So maybe just oh. while my phone's turning on, we'll just discuss like one more of one of our points before that comes on. So maybe we'll go with one of my points. So one of my points was your body operates at its best 
and you become your ideal weight. That has been the case for me. Like I'm 125. I feel like I'm a great weight and I, my body operates at its absolute best. And has that been the case for you? Have you lost weight? Do you feel good about your weight and where your body is at? You're, you look great. You have great muscle too for, for where you're at and everything. Yeah. I'm 190 yeah. pounds right now. 193 pounds. I think I'm six, one and a half or six, one and three quarters, I believe. Um, yeah. And at 51 years old, uh, pretty low body fat percentage, good muscle tone. You know, I mean, I work out every day. Like you can see, like I'm strong and fit. I can bench press 225. I squat, you know, I'm active. I look fit in person. I look fit. Yeah. People think I look like you I'm do. 20. Yeah. yeah. I saw you, you in know. person. You look fit. Yeah. Yeah. And so that is because my body's very efficient at absorption of nutrition. One of the miraculous things that happens when we go raw vegan is our body becomes more efficient at absorption. If we're eating a cooked food diet, guaranteed 100%, your digestion and absorption is weakened and atrophied and struggling. So mm -hmm. you have to eat more food to try to get adequate nutrition, and then it's really easy to gain weight. If you struggle with weight gain, you got to go raw vegan immediately. And you got to go raw vegan mm -hmm. all the way, 100% as, for as long as it takes, one to two years, for your digestive system to adjust and adapt. And so for me, I can put on muscle easier now as a raw vegan than I could when I was horking down animal protein trying to build muscle. It's so silly. From my perspective now, it's like a huge epiphany. My body can make better use of salad now as a raw vegan than mm -hmm. it could of eating steak, a beef and chicken and, and fish too. at the, when I was eating animal products, trying to build muscle, I would eat so much animal protein and lift so much weight. And I would never be able to put on muscle. Now I can go lift weights for a couple of months. And I just like pop out, you know, mm -hmm. because my body can take the amino acids from salad and turn it into muscle. Mm -hmm. and a lot of these young guys, these naysayers I get on my channel and all these poo pooers talk about <laughs> how you got to eat, you got to eat animal protein and you're not getting adequate nutrition on a raw vegan diet. No, you're not getting adequate nutrition on a cooked food diet. The body is not able to absorb properly. 80% of the human population is nutrient deficient mm -hmm. in first world nations with access to all of the meat and pork and chicken and BS in the grocery stores, factory mm -hmm. farmed eggs, give me a break. That stuff is highly inflammatory and toxic to the body. If you're eating factory farmed eggs and pork out of the grocery store, you are not getting adequate nutrition oh, at all. Pork, that's the worst. No, I, don't even, the I don't worst. even know how people still eat pork now. In 2024, like knowing what we know, how do people choose pork? Pork. No, pork is the worst. That's the one. It's the one food oh, right. I don't ever condone eating and I've never, and I literally haven't had a bite of pork in 35 years. Yeah. Actually. The last time I had pork, yeah. I don't even, I remember I used to eat it a lot in university. I was living mm. with my fiance at the time where we I was <laughs> making pork dinners a lot. Like, oh my God. Pork. I'm like, that's nasty. <laughs> well, I know so you nasty. mentioned, I know you mentioned naysayers. Usually I don't ever, like I usually ignore the comments now. I don't bring them up. But I, since this involves a legacy, like this comment, I just wanted to bring up with you. So yesterday on my channel, it was actually on one of our videos. I just saw how going raw vegan can completely change your life in 2024. I'll link that video down below. It's really good. It has so much great information. It did really good. So this commenter, Breathing Sunshine, they said, though you don't push the animal cruelty aspect of veganism, vegan is an extreme diet that creates lifelong eating disorders that are based around making someone feel guilty about what they eat. Is that really the legacy and karma you want to create, Jill? Stop before you're too deep. You can be healthy without being extreme. And this just saddens me because this is the kind of world we're living in where because we choose to eat whole foods, healthy foods, raw foods, electric foods. So someone like this sees that as, you know, that's an eating disorder and you're giving people, you know what I mean? And that's <clears throat> seen as a bad legacy. Whereas if I'm on here promoting, let's eat steak dinners, let's do that. That's not a bad legacy, you know? Let's, that's not a bad legacy promoting like factory farming and all this crap we've just been talking about. Yeah. And if you ask me, I just want to say too, in my opinion, before when I used to eat pizza and burgers and poutines and beers and wine and all this stuff, like to me, that was me. That was issues with eating. That was problems with eating when I was deliberately eating things 
that were bad for my body. That is me having it. That's me having issues and problems with food when I'm eating things that are going to cause a bad consequence that are not meant for it. So I'd like to know your thoughts on this. And then I'd like for you to talk about the legacy topic. I believe that humans have been overeating cooked food for hundreds of thousands of years, and we have become clouded in how addicted to cooked food we are. No other species on the planet eats cooked food. So there's no reason or nutritional advantage to eat denatured food. It has become traditional. It's been uncomfortable. We have Mm -hmm. become weak in the digestive system, so we kind of rely on it now. But the real disorder is thinking that we have to eat cooked food to be healthy. It's just an absurdity. No other living mammal on planet Earth does. So why would we have to? It doesn't make any sense. And eating animal products is absolutely unnecessary for human health at the highest level. We get to choose who we're going to become in the future. Let's choose a higher vibrational version of humanity that lives cruelty-free, without harm, without murder. Why do we want to uphold the institution of murder and take that into the future of our evolution? There's just no reason to do that. We can leave murder in the past as part of our survival base uh, fear and Neanderthal thinking of the past. We can make the choice to become the best version of ourselves. Now, I will say, Jillian, when it comes to the kind of work you and I do, Mm -hmm. criticism and praise are really just the same thing. It's projections onto us. It doesn't matter what uh, we're doing, what we feel we need to do, which is our legacy. We are speaking our truth, sharing our mission, talking about our process, talking about our story, using our personal transformation story to help inspire and lead others. How people perceive that is irrelevant. And so the way I see it is that praise and criticism are just a projection onto me. I don't need praise. I don't need criticism. I don't care. They're both fine, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't affect me one way or another because my only job is to tell the truth. My only job is to share my story, to be honest, to be authentic, to contribute, to enroll people in a better version of what our future can be like. And that's what legacy is. When you go raw vegan, a miraculous thing that happens that you don't realize is that you become more in, on, aligned and on purpose with your legacy. Your legacy is rooted in your personal transformation stories, the way that you were wounded as a child, the way that you were abandoned, the way that you were abused. These stories hold powerful gifts for your life. And until we turn our pain into our purpose, we're a victim of the pain. But your pain is like God giving you a present. You got to unwrap the present and see what is in there for you. In a raw vegan diet, choosing high vibrational raw living foods that purify our body, bring us closer to God, cleanliness and godliness. It gives us the gifts. We can see the gifts. It's like unwrapping the present and saying, oh, yeah. I was abandoned. I was abused, but I've overcome it. Look at what a warrior I am. I'm going to help others. I'm going to go out of my way to create connection. I'm going to be someone who brings authenticity and commitment and responsibility to my wounding. This is our legacy. Our legacy is a celebration of life, a celebration of health, a celebration of who we are and our story and what's happened to us. We don't need to be ashamed. That person's comment is someone who is living in shame. And it's sad to see that, but we have to be the example of how Mm -hmm. we've turned our shame into our gifts. So we need to excavate. We need to examine closely where we've been wounded, how it creates patterns in our life, and to move past it, to celebrate our wound. So this is why I say we don't need to heal our wound. We need to bring it along with us We need to integrate it like going back in time and saying, hey, I abandoned you. I abandoned part of myself back when I was traumatized, but I'm going to bring that into the future. Lead with it. Lead with your trauma. Lead with your hardship. Lead with your experience. Share it. Don't be ashamed. Let the light shine on it. And this is bringing the shadow into the light. The second you bring your shadow into the light, everything transforms. It's like turning the light on and the cockroaches scramble. It is an instant cleansing of the consciousness and the purity of your experience on life, of your life. And that's the legacy that you 
have to live. We all have an amazing, miraculous legacy to share on this planet. And the core, the root, the key, the gift is in your core wounding. We've all been traumatized. We're not getting out of this earth without getting wounded. There was a fracture. There's a fragmentation that happens when our heart is broken. And that's your responsibility. So for me, legacy is taking responsibility for the gift I was given and bringing it to the world to share, to help others with the wisdom I gained from my fracture, from my fragmentation, from my wounding. I got gifts, yeah. I got knowledge and wisdom. And when I share that and help others with that, it is an incredibly transformative, meaningful, purpose-driven life that li literally lives a legacy. And yeah. actually, this kind of work is profoundly transformative. This is actually the, mm -hmm. the future of the contentpreneur. All we have to do is tell our story. It actually changes our wealth history. We can create more money. We can create more ease, more abundance. We can leave a legacy for our children. We can create trust funds for our children. This is the type of abundance that shifts when we get out of shame mm -hmm. and into action and into legacy. Shame is associated with poverty, low self-esteem, bad self-image, mm -hmm. uh, shame and guilt and fear. That's all poverty. We're struggling. We don't have abundance. We need to shift that into everything that's happened to me has happened to me for a reason. And it shifts into abundance, more money, flow, future generations. Can, we can create generational wealth from ourselves starting here, but it's the legacy work that does that. Mm -hmm. So why not give yourself a boost for your legacy work on planet Earth? Eat raw vegan, drink fresh juices. I actually have a green juice right here. I haven't had a sip of it yet. Drink oh. your green juice. That green... looks good, that one. Yes. It's so, it's so good. I actually haven't had a sip. I'm looking at it here. Bring your best self into the future. Bring your wounded self into present time. Mm -hmm. Share it, be it, live it, and expand your consciousness and aura and bring your telepathy into the field around you. Share who you are. Get out of hiding. Don't be ashamed. Tell your story. Be a contentpreneur that changes the world. All of the economy is moving this way. If you want to make more money, be more abundant, have more wealth and success and celebration in your life, do this journey and this work that I'm talking about. It's what I yeah. do. So it's what I help people with. Yeah. So. And you're great at it. I'll link everything below. And if, but if somebody's going through like a hard time, they're in the thick of it, they're in those painful periods and they can't quite see that that's a present because oftentimes life makes sense backwards, not when we're in it and we're going forwards. How can somebody have that hope in those moments and see that like this is a gift, even though maybe their life seems like a living hell or they're going through really bad times and they're going through a lot of pain. Like after the fact, it's easy to sometimes see like this is a gift and how that why that was meant to be. But do you have any advice for people if they're in the thick oh, of yeah. that, how to like handle it? 100%. The way to go from where you are stuck and struggling to where you want to be thriving alive on purpose and in abundance is mentorship, accountability. Mm -hmm. There's just no other way to do it. You have to surround yourselves with people who are further along on the journey of self-healing and self-actualization. This is what coaching is for. This is why I'm a coach. If you spend time with someone who thinks differently than you, thinks more successfully than you, it's going to help you transform. Mm -hmm. Often coaching isn't learning information. Coaching is just being next to someone who thinks different. And it helps you think different because the results we have right now are based on the patterns of thinking that we have mm -hmm. been trained to. So maybe your mom or your dad or your caregiver, you know, our institutions of schools and society teach us to think a certain way. And it's all steeped in shame and poverty. So if you want to turn your shame into your purpose, your pain into your purpose, you've got to get mentorship, someone who's done it. This is what I've done. I've mm -hmm. turned my pain. I mean, I I had a really tr traumatizing past and I've turned it into the reason I do this work. It's the reason I help people. I have thousands and thousands of clients and it's mentorship. When I hired my first mentor, the the mo I changed the moment I paid money for a mentor. I can't tell you how important that was. That was a transitional before and after moment in my life. I had never ever hired a mentor. I was I was younger. I didn't feel like I knew the path forward, but my partner at the time, my my who became my wife, she encouraged me to hire a mentor. And the, the moment I paid money for a mentor, everything shift. I realized at that moment, I could have anything in my life if I prioritized investing my her 
hard-earned money, my if I put my skin in the game mm -hmm. and I learned and I invested and I claimed a seat at the table next to powerful people. Mm -hmm. And now I surround myself with seven, eight figure earners all the time. I go to events, I join masterminds, I am around people who make a lot more money than me, who are a lot more successful than me, who have bigger impact than me, bigger businesses than me, more clients than me. I just spent three days with Brendan Bouchard, who's one of the highest paid coaches in the world. He makes a hundred million dollars. Mm -hmm. Hired by celebrities, world leaders, presidents. You don't wow. know his name because he doesn't put him. He's not a public figure. He's a he's a person who helps transform people's lives because he understands how to transform, how to uh, become the best version of ourselves, how to take our shame and turn it into our purpose, how mm. to perform better. So when I spend time with people like Brendan Bouchard, it shifts my brain, shifts my thinking, and I become a more successful person. And that's just the way mentorship works. So if someone's in their shame, if someone's struggling, if you can't see the forest through the trees, if you're really in the thick of it, if you're really down and out and you need a hand up, if you can't pay your bills, if you can't get out of the struggle you're in, you've got to put money into a mentor. That's it. I'm telling you, that's it. It changed my life forever and it is the path forward. You might not understand it. You might not believe me. You might be skeptical, but I'm telling you from someone who went from broke to a high six-figure earner, man, I'm going to tell you, that's the path forward. That's how you go from, you know, struggling to massively successful. Mm -hmm. And I highly recommend it for everyone. Mentorship is key. It's the before and after that everyone's looking for, whether they realize it or not. And someone like Brendan Bouchard, I think I've heard, I think I've heard of him, or maybe because I've heard you speak of him before. I have to look more into him, but someone like so highly regarded like that, that you really respect, what's maybe like the greatest thing that you've learned from him so far that stands out, that comes to mind? 100%. I worked with a high level success coach for six years and mm -hmm. she was my number one business coach who I invested the most with. I invested about a half a million dollars with her over the years. And you might say, well, I don't have a half a million dollars. Neither did I. I had to scrimp, scrounge, save, borrow, beg to pick, to stay in her programs. I got kicked out of That's her That's how much they charge, like these high level over. coaches. Yeah. Yeah. My high level coach was uh, 25,000 a year for her low end program. Wow. Okay, that was her starting program. And I was actually in her middle tier and her high tier at different points. So I invested all the way up to private access to her because her low end tier doesn't give any private access to her, just a Facebook live stream. Mm -hmm. And that's 25,000 a year. So here's the deal. The reason I go to Brendan Burchard's events, the reason I invested with her isn't to learn information. It has nothing to do with information. It's how to think. It's how to think. When I go to Brendan Bouchard's event and I sit down and I and he comes out and he talks and addresses the the, the mm. room, the only thing I'm looking for it doesn't it, it's not information. I want to hear how he thinks. I want to have the way he thinks rub off on me. That's it. That's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm looking for. And I learned this mm. from working with my coach for six years because the way I thought when I started working with her was like a impoverished, beaten down ashamed dog on the street with my tail between my legs. That's who I was six, seven, eight years ago. And today I'm at the pinnacle of my success. I earned more money in 2023 last year than I've ever earned before in my life. I have more clients, more impact, more reach, more success, more transformation than ever before for one simple reason. I learned how to think differently. I learned how to think differently. And that's just the bottom line. I took how to think differently. I combined it with the raw vegan diet. I combined it with the hero's journey of transformation. And I launched my group coaching program, Raw Vegan Heroes. It's the transformational hero's journey. And that's what I help people with today. So it's a- That was uh, just such a great way to put it about not going for information, about learning how to think. I've never heard someone put it that way. And that just makes so much sense. You know, that makes so much sense because that's everything really, right? That's everything really. And that's how we truly change our life. Yeah. and. And um, my coach said, I just saw her speak in Austin. She actually did an event here in Austin. So I went and spent mm -hmm. three days with her. And she said, in my highest end programs, which cost 100,000 a year to be mm -hmm. in her six figure club, it's called, it costs six figures for one year of coaching with her. She says, in my high end programs, you get less access to me. You, you don't get any coaching at all. There's no coaching in her high end program. Do you know what? why that is? Wow, why? Yeah. Tell me. No coaching. Wow. Because all you're doing is being next to her. 
You have access to being next to her. What do you learn when you're sitting next to a successful person? How they feel, how they resident, resonate, how they hold themselves, how they talk, how they think. That's all you're getting. You're paying for proximity to a successful person. And that's what works. So if someone is struggling, you need proximity to a successful person. We do that through Zoom meetings. We do that through live streams. We do that through Facebook groups. That's the current version of how to do that. We do not need in-person events because it costs me $10,000 to go to an in-person event, $25,000 for some of the mm -hmm. events I go to, to be in on these masterminds. You don't need that. That's a higher level. The first step is to join a Facebook group, to join a, a get in on a Zoom meeting. And that's what I do. I have a business mentorship program myself and I do a weekly Zoom meeting. If somebody wants to sit next to me mm -hmm. and learn how I think, to create high six figures a year with my coaching program, mm -hmm. they sit next to me on Zoom and they learn mm -hmm. how I think. And that's what I teach. I don't share information. You can figure it out on your own. The information's on Google for free. You got to learn how to think different, how to be successful by proximity to a successful person. That's yeah, it. that's really good. That's the first way I've heard it put that way. But that even falls in line with like you become the top five people you hang out with too, right? So even aside from your mentors, you also have to be aware of who you're hanging out with, right? Those people, the people around you too, in your life. Yeah. I, um, I saw this, uh, this coach once speak who had 10 million, $20 million a year with his gym business. He had a gym franchise mm -hmm. and he was a high level coach and he was making, you know, 20, $30 million a year with his business. He came from poverty in Puerto Rico. And he said that his mother and his brothers and sisters thought in such poverty consciousness mindset that at, for him to become successful, he had to cut himself off from his family completely. So wow. he bought his mother a house. He bought his siblings all cars and whatever they needed and stopped talking to them completely. He, he told me face to face, I talked to him in person. He said, I cannot connect with my family. I cannot talk to my mother because my mother thinks like a poor person and it will bring me down and I can't be there. I can't do that. So that's the level some successful people go to, to be successful. Hey mom, I'll buy you a house, but I can't talk to you today. I'm too busy. I got work to do. Here's $500,000, you know, I'll set you up, but I can't talk to you. Wow. Wow. Yep. That's wow. the bottom line. Because if you let that influence your mind, you will be that. Mm -hmm. So people struggle. I mean, I have clients every day. I have a client right now that comes to mind who's struggling with uh, alcohol addiction, caffeine addiction, low self-esteem. And uh, she's working with me. She knew to invest properly. But what really she's struggling with is the people around her. She's struggling with the people around her. She is the sum of her mom and her boyfriend and the people she surrounds herself with. Mm -hmm. And that's very hard. Can she get when all of it's counterproductive, you know? So True. True. point where you have to seek a different crab bucket. And the crab bucket is the analogy of, um, you know, the, the crabs in the bucket pull the crabs back down in. You can't climb out of the crab bucket. He wants to see you become successful because misery loves company. Everybody wants you to stay in your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So you have to overcome that. That's one of the secrets to success. That's why we go raw vegan. That's why we eat raw food. It gives us a boost out of the crab bucket, just a little bit of boost and clarity to see how we can become the best version of ourselves, who we need to spend time with. Spend time with the raw vegans. Spend time with successful mm -hmm. people. That's what I say. Yeah, so true. Well said. Amazing. And this has been so great. I want to thank you so much for coming on, sharing your inspiration, your wisdom, everything. It's just been so amazing. And I've gained so much from it too. So I want to say thanks. And before I let you go, let everybody know where they can find you. Yeah, well, I would recommend mentorship for everyone who wants to take the next step. I would highly recommend joining my group coaching program, Raw Vegan Heroes. It's the best raw vegan support group in the world. We've got 3,000 members right now every day. Members are sharing inspiration, sharing meal ideas, recipes. If you don't know what to eat, join Raw Vegan Heroes. You'll learn. There's hundreds of hours of training videos. There's coaching with me every week. We've got a monthly Zoom meeting. I have a team of trained professional coaches who are there to assist members 24-7. If you want to be raw vegan, raw vegan heroes will help you reach your goal. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Surround yourself with other people. Seek a new crab bucket, seek the mentorship, and you're going to learn. Jillian's in there. 
I'm in there. So many incredible, inspiring people are in there in Raw Vegan Heroes. So you can find Raw Vegan Heroes in any of my YouTube video descriptions. There's a link on my website, rawveganrising.com. You can find it under the membership tab uh, on my social media, on Instagram, the link in my bio, it's there. And I offer a 75% discount for those who want to invest a year. The yearly membership has a 75% discount. It mm -hmm. makes it very, very affordable. It costs almost no money. It's literally my service to people to help them. So it's my service work to create a community and connection space where we can all meet and gather and learn from each other. And this is my life's work. This is my purpose work that I stepped onto when I became raw vegan. Mm -hmm. When I went raw vegan, I needed to heal my abandonment wound, which is that I didn't belong on planet Earth. So I launched Raw Vegan Heroes to create a place of community and connection so I feel like I belong. And now it's grown so much bigger than me, thousands of people from all over the world. And every day I get messages from people saying how Raw Vegan Heroes has transformed their life. They're so grateful and thankful for the community. So yeah. that just works my heart. And I realize, you know, I'm in service. This is my service work and I'm very yeah. humbled. And it's a great group. Like I, I've been in it since before I started YouTube. And it's, I would say probably the biggest raw vegan group. It's got to be right out there. It's really good. I'll link it down below. I'll link your, all your Instagram, YouTube, everything down below. So everybody go follow Shane, go join. He's amazing. And I want to thank you for coming on. I want to thank the viewers for tuning in. I hope this video added some value. I hope you enjoyed it truly. If you did give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any great videos. And I will put two amazing videos on the screen right now. So you guys can continue watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.